So that's it. You can see the door is actually just resting up here. Let's have a quick look at this. I mean, I might just grab that for the hell of it. I know the handle's stuffed. I think it should still be okay. We could still use it. Let me just pop you here. I'm just gonna pop that in the car. Man, it's heavy. Okay. Let's have a look at the front here. Oh, I like these. How do you get these out? Oh, come on. How do you get them out? be a release there might be a release on the side here ah, there we go perfect G'day guys, how are you? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video. And today, we're just basically carrying on from the last video, where in the last video, I started building my side part of the cinema, um, the side section, and um, basically last video was all preparation. Now that side section is going to be where I keep my arcade machines, my fridges, my equipment rack, um, my t check these for look at these photos you'll get a good idea basically everything you see in those photos that's what we're going to be building and we're going to start building it in this video i thought i'd started in the last video but it was it came down to preparation there was a lot of preparation i had to do if you come back to me you can see i had to um plug up that window over there um, i had to kind of put insulation in the ceiling as well as these steel um, bits of framing on the underside of these joists because remember we're putting a starfield ceiling in this section as well but yeah there you go so i couldn't i didn't actually start last week but this in this video this is where we're going to start framing it up so hopefully by the end of this video it should look pretty good now if you have a look at those photos again um, you can see my htpc it's that kind of diamond um, shape at the top above my equipment rack that's a $1,000 um, uh, computer case that I found at the dump we're going to be building a computer in there that's going to be the brains of the operation my home cinema um, everything will be played through that basically we'll have blu-ray players etc but um, that's going to be that's going to do most of the work uh, now the thing is everything that you see in these photos everything that I put in this side section is going to be free Seriously, seriously, I find all of this stuff. I fix it all. Um, I'm not a professional in any way. I just like tinkering. So I see something with potential, I bring it home. And if I can fix it, awesome. If I can't fix it, well, then I'll take it back. And I've gotten pretty good at it. And um, yeah, all those fridges, they came from the dump. We've got some amazing LED fridges that we're gonna put inside here, beautiful ones. Stainless steel, $2,000 each. We're putting two in there, a wine fridge as well as a beer fridge. Um, all the equipment, all my receivers, you can come and have a look at. You can, I've, got, I've got probably 10 amazing receivers that I've found that don't even need anything done. People have just tossed them because they've upgraded. I mean, this is the one that I'm using at the moment. It's a Yamaha RXV 1900. 
I have even better ones upstairs, but um, that's doing, that's serving the purpose at the moment. I'm loving that. So I think I'll use that for a while. When everything's, you know, finished, my cinema's done and, you know, whenever, I'll end up upgrading everything. I'll end up getting the flagship uh, Denon. I think it's the X8500 HA or something like that. I want a 9.2.4 Atmos, you know, kind of setup in here. But um, that's a way off yet. But yeah, we will be upgrading. But for now, I don't care. I, I'll, I have no problem using this stuff. It's, it's awesome. Uh, we've got some 4K TVs. Um, that I've also found I've actually fixed them really nice ones. I've got 55 to 60 inch We'll be putting them in portrait mode so we can you know do some poster slideshows, etc um, We'll have um, lolly stands candy stands or whatever chips and so forth over there. Maybe popcorn and um, Yeah, basically like I keep saying everything's going to be free um, Arcade machines if you have a look at that photo. I've got an arcade machine um, in the corner and that's going to go over there in that corner just there and um, yeah take you back to that photo and there's another one uh, there's another kind of sit down one that I might put here somewhere and that's it basically there I've got a couple I found these at the dump I found all of these amazing arcades at the dump uh, this is stuff that I haven't actually made videos of yet but I will and um, yeah so <laughs> I've like someone threw that out because the laptop that they use to um, put all the software on it had died so I get heaps of laptops at the dump or I make my own computers so when I'm finished with it it will be 10 times better than what it was when I found it uh, so we got a couple of arcades for free everything's for free not just the the equipment but the tools all the power tools everything that I'm using to build this thing everything that I'm using to build my cinema in here all the tools power tools like I just mentioned it's free I found all of that stuff and I fixed it and um, yeah that's a cool thing and not if we haven't finished yet all the all the timbers all the well most of the um, uh, most of the you know timbers and so forth the materials that I'm using all of this stuff I just picked up off the ground and this is saving me hundreds and hundreds of dollars you know just looks a bit weathered and you don't see it when it's all covered up with you know wall and plasterboard and so forth it's all treated pine just looks a bit weathered because it's been sitting out in my yard for the past year but um anyway that's enough let's just get into it i'm just going to do a time lapse we'll see where we get up to by the end of this video hopefully it won't look too bad but um yeah i don't know exactly how i'm going to do this but i'm just working it out as i go so <laughs> check back with you soon
this has taken its toll. You know, since I've, you know, built this wall here, which hasn't been completed, um, I've just been staring at this spot inside here for the last two days, trying to work this thing out in my head. At night time, I'm down here trying to work this stuff out. I mean, this is how I do it. This is, I don't do, you know, full on plans. I just do it in my head. And then I get, um, I get off cuts of stuff that I'm gonna use. And then I try and space it out. You can see that's where my equipment rack's gonna go. Um, yeah, and the fridge is inside here. And <laughs> guess what? It comes down to the millimeter, exactly. I needed 100, sorry, what did I need? 135 uh, centimeters in there, so 1350 mil. Guess exactly what it comes to <laughs> after I've put all my, you know, framing and everything up. 1350 mil. I can't believe it. It comes down to the millimeter. So that's an awesome thing, but it's also a bit scary that it's so tight, but it works. But uh, yeah, that's how far it comes out. Can you see that lead line down on the concrete there? It's going to come out that far. But this has really taken its toll. It's taken me ages just to work it out. I did do a bit of a mud map, but that's that's the extent. That's the extent of my planning, you know. Not to mention, this has actually already cost me about $300. I know I said it was going to be free, but um, that was all the equipment and everything. But this is in building materials, like all this MDF that I use for this wall, as well as um, I bought yesterday all of this angle iron that I'll use to put the... Um, the cupboard above the fridges where the, the spare seats will go. Um, and as well as all the insulation inside here. So far it's been 300 bucks. Hopefully it won't cost me much more than that. As well as screws and things like that. I mean, just concrete screws, because everything has to go into these into this um, brick wall and, and slab, you know. But anyway, I'll stop complaining and keep going.
Alrighty, there we go. What do you think? It's coming along. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Seriously, it looks like this has only taken me a little while to do, but I've been going pretty hard on this for the last week and a bit, I reckon. I work very slowly. I do bits at a time. I always go back and re-measure stuff. And so far, everything's working out beautifully. I'm really happy with it. Um, I didn't mean to leave that MDF bit of sheeting there. I'll pull that off shortly and do some more work underneath that. But you can get the idea how it's going to look once it's all sheeted up. Which, that's probably what I'll do in the next episode. We'll do some sheeting. We'll see if we can sheet this entire thing up. Hopefully we can finish this rack off. Um, I mean, the sliders are sliding out beautifully. I've got a really cool idea about how to make this look nice and clean, which involves magnets. These bits here will be held on by magnets. Just means I can actually cover it up so that you don't see any of the sliders and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, really stoked with that. Uh, by the way, the, um, the Denon um, receiver that I'm gonna get, it's going to be an X8500HA because I want a 9.2.4 system in here. Um, I will not be using one of these shelves. I just think they're too flimsy. I'll end up using some form ply and transfer the sliders as well as the front stainless bit over to that. And that should hold it up nicely. But um, yeah, I mean, this um, HTPC case looks a million bucks. I wish it was down a little bit further, but um, that's all right, I can handle it. Um, It'll still look amazing with the sign. I'm going to be 3D printing the Ants Super Cinema sign that you see in those photos. And uh, that will look pretty cool because I'll end up doing it so that it's hollow and um, that I can put LED lights in there and we'll light it up and look incredible. Can't wait to get some doors on the shelving, uh, sorry, on the cupboard above there. I'll have to do a cutout for the HTPC. Um, in the next episode, like I said, I think I'll end up doing some more sheeting on this so it looks a bit more complete. I also um, have found someone who is selling, I might have mentioned it before, I can't remember, uh, some uh, basic granite, some really beautiful granite. They just pulled it out of their kitchen and it's exactly the same as this. Check this, see this bit here out? I actually found this at the dump, believe it or not. Someone tossed it at the metal section and look how gorgeous it looks. It's stunning. I think this looks more beautiful than diamonds. It is just beautiful. So I found someone who's got a couple of really large pieces they pulled out of a kitchen and all they want is a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna go and go for a drive, pick that up, work out how to cut it. And I think what I'm gonna do is put some in there for the fridges to sit on as well as this side bench. It's gonna be a side bench. We will put granite along the top there and hopefully get enough to get to the end. Do something really nice in front of that retaining wall, as well as you can see some of the flooring down there. I found some amazing laminate flooring that will stick down here. Um, found it at the dump. So <laughs> everything is coming together. I mean, I mean, I'm spewing because it's cost me about 300 to $400 already but um once all the gears in there and the fridges and so forth it's going to be that's all that it's going to cost and that's really unheard of that's amazing so stoked i'm pretty happy with that i'm going to get out of here sign off i'd like to say thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one